And welcome to the Tome 18 revision overview for both the Rift and our challenges for level 1 of the new tome. As per usual, I'll be going over the challenges first, then diving into the Rift. And then, if you're watching this when it's on YouTube, I'll be live later this evening around 4 p.m. Eastern Time, streaming the different various challenges over on my channel. But let's start off with the tome, shall we? And its challenges. Alright, for level 1, on the survivor track, we have Life Giver, uh, heal a total of 1 health state of any survivor. We then have Grease Monkey, fully deplete 1 toolbox. The light, it burns, apply the hinder size effect to the killer 2 times while using the perk Champion of the Light as Alan Wake in a single trial. We then have Skilled Operator, succeed at 4 skill checks. Bloody Rewards earn 40,000 blood points. Liberator unhook two survivors, must unhook them safely. Core Memory Disturbing Notions restore the memory, collect one memory shard. Uh, when a generator is completed, a shard emerges nearby. The shard is stationary. Collect the shard within 40 seconds before it fades. When the last shard is collected, an archive pool appears. Complete the challenge by either exiting the trial with the shards or by securing them with the archive portal. We must complete this single trial. Relatively simple. We then have Silver Age. Earn three emblems of silver quality or better. And then lastly, Glyph Pursuer. Commute with two green glyphs. Alright, that is it for Survivor. For Killer, we have Knockout. Knock down five survivors. Diverse Despair. Hook three different survivors. Darkly Obsessed. Hook the Obsession one time. Extra speed. Ma travel more than 16 meters without colliding into a single chainsaw sprint while the chainsaw is in overdrive as the hillbilly. Do it one time in a single trial. Tag them, bag them. Hit one survivor while they are speared with the redeemer as the death slinger. Complete a single trial. Unleash the rage. Break eight walls, pallets, or generators. We then have Caleb's Retribution. Inflict the Oblivious Status effect for a total of 30 seconds while using the perk Hex Retribution as the Death Slinger. Complete in single trial. Speedy Breaks. Destroy a breakable wall after a chainsaw sprint while undetectable with the chainsaw one time as the Hillbilly. And then lastly, Caleb's Wrath. Have the entity block two generators while using the perk Dead Man Switch as the Death Slinger. Complete in single trial. Alright. So that is it for our week one challenges. You'll notice that simple challenges now provide five fragments toward a level in the tome, in the rift, as then the master challenges apply eight, as a change they announced yesterday during the live stream, as well as for level one completion rewards. It does not appear there's a charm anymore, but instead a carrot survivor and killer badge, and then as per usual, the 10 fragments. So then 10, 15, 20 and 25, I believe. All right, for our rift, as per usual, the uh, the, the premium reward track is only a thousand cells. If you complete a track, you will have access to the next one as is. So I'm pop that off. You'll get the imposter genes immediately, as well as a hundred thousand blood points. And then at level four, you'll get the tree symbol for anyone who wants some more icons on the badge. Cells across the way. New stuff for Felix. Gives him a bright red jacket. New stuff for Gunslinger. That's the full one. Huntress as well. At level 28. A new profile banner. New stuff for Blight, it seems. Then at 42, another badge with a typewriter at 54 for uh, Alan's typewriter. Up oh, here's Clown. This was 
slightly horrifying. He's chasing after you. And then the iridescent or ultra rare badge. They're actually animated, as you can tell. This is when the lighthouse and some fog wisps are appear and disappear. And then the ba the banner itself has fog in it. Do not know how this is going to appear on the scoreboard, but I'm guessing it'll be fine. And at 66, there's a badge on the free track. Now, unlike previously on the deep rift, in even if you've completed it, the free track now still rewards blood points the entire way. Alan's deep rift, the typical bright blue. We then have the hillbilly's deep rift for the fallen hero, or twisted hero, excuse me. We have Felix's deep rift, which is pretty good. Deathslingers. And then... Nia's. All look pretty good. But that is this tome and rift for the first level. I will be back in... Let me verify. I don't give you guys the wrong date in two weeks with level two but again hope you have a wonderful day i'll be live this evening around 4 p.m eastern going through the track myself if you would like to come by and check it out and don't forget twitch drops aren't able on my channel so you can get the new cosmetic skins and future skins when they do more drops in the future hope you all have a wonderful evening and i will see you in the next video goodbye